I'm Bob Hallmark in Longview. Planting beds, as you see behind me right now, are being prepared for the upcoming planting season. Late February is when lots of farmers put their plants or seed into the ground. But it's not that simple. Because of weather conditions, some are saying it's a little bit too early, which is why a lot of people are going to seed, including a lot of first-time people who are planting out of what they feel is necessity. A lot of people, and I'd mean a lot of people, have been coming in to places uh, like Hawkins Ace Hardware to buy seed, as you can see right behind me, uh, for a good reason. They're paying attention to the economy and more importantly, food prices. And uh, joining us now is um, Marlena Sabella. And uh, you say that there's been a lot of people coming in doing this, is that right? Oh yes, definitely this year we've had it's just un unbelievable how much how many people are actually doing their own growing now because it has been terrible at the gro grocery store as anybody knows is that the, what they're saying to you is that maybe some of these people yes, are first-time growers I yes guess. they are and they they kind of want to get back to you know back to the land as as we say mm -hmm. the uh the, the the getting the planting of the seeds and the harvesting of it is a great it's a great comfort to people actually it really helps you it helps you all the way around as far as your health all of it. It's mm -hmm. very good for the soul and the body. And homegrown, obviously, and is, uh, is the, uh, the price is right, yes, right? Yes, it is. It is <laughs> definitely. It does take a little bit to get that ground going, but you know, a little bit of money. But it doesn't. It's it's well worth it. Well worth it. Now, what are you advising people that come in? Uh, uh, this is not the time to put. Uh, a lot of the stuff in the ground at this point. Right, the hot weather plants need to wait a while. Mid after mid March, I would just because of the freeze danger of frost. Right now is all your cold weather plants: collards, uh, kale, you know the the broccoli, mm -hmm. spinach, lettuce. Most of that stuff is going to be really well right now. It needs to be in the ground so you can get a good bumper crop, and it'll keep you going up until it gets pretty warm. And you just mentioned something that I think that is important here: bumper crop. Mm -hmm. uh, if people can grow their own vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, grow uh, and sustain a garden. What it does is it saves them money uh, from going to a grocery store and having to buy all Definitely, of this. Definitely, yes. And there, are, there's a ton of, of this these things that you can freeze, you can can, you know, you can keep it for, and it can last you all year. You don't have to, just because you can't grow it, don't, you know, have it. You can can it or freeze it and do lots of things with it to keep it for the rest of the year for all your daily meals you know now there are some plants that you can put in the ground right now still might want to wait a little bit because mm -hmm. of uh, all of the rain we've had the ground's yes, been saturated it's saturated uh, but, but the cold weather plants uh, such as broccoli mm -hmm. and cauliflower and things like that they can survive even a mild uh, a frost yes I, I do recommend you be sure to start those indoors so, so you can get it a little bigger it doesn't need to the seeds are a little hard to do right now because of the rain and problems that we're having with the saturated soil and that's one of the things I wanted to bring up too is that if you buy seed best now because of our unpredictable mm, uh, east texas very. winters best now to go ahead and grow them inside somewhere. yes and right now you can put out onions and potatoes which they probably should have already done in the end of february mm -hmm. is really when you need to put those onions and potatoes in the ground but we still got plenty of time it's only two weeks past that so in your perspective what is, what have you noticed about people coming I, i'm guessing there's probably people who've never grown anything in their life yes i've never given so much advice in my life this year <laughs> these past months since the you know the covid and such but yes we we sell everything you want for you know we've got you know compost manures is your friend for amending your beds mm -hmm. uh peat moss things like that we have a lot of uh, organic soil as well mm -hmm. for people who want to do that we have even raised bed uh, bins that you can buy and put together and and that's important too because mm -hmm. uh, you, they have to be raised in, in the right conditions even indoors mm -hmm. uh, you know it's not yes. like you can put them in a potter and no. just leave them I just do a peat you know the little peat uh, trays usually have about 72 cells where you can put you know you can do many on one tray and mm -hmm. we also have the, the heat mats the growing bulbs mm -hmm. so that you can you know you'll be more safe as far as getting them out you'll have a good crop to, to put outside so everything that you would need to be successful mm -hmm. and, and that's the whole trick here right. is you're giving you're Being providing successful. them the tools to be successful with yes, what they do correct okay. correct all right so if you want to grow at this point if you want to start your own garden you want to start your own farm like i do <laughs> yeah. uh what you can do is you can come in to uh, hawkins ace hardware and you can pick up uh the kind of uh, uh of seed or even the plantlings that you want to use right. uh, 
uh, and get some advice here as, yes. as well on how to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you're not adverse to that. No, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, that's my, I, I got the plant lingo. <laughs> okay, got you. All right. Marlena, thanks. I appreciate Thank you, it. Mom. All right, we'll have more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.